Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Figure Fantasy on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. It packs a punch with mega performance upgrades and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Figure Fantasy and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Figure Fantasy. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, to get started we have to launch our main web browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's go to this URL that I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to see on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type this URL, because there's the link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We landed on this page on our website of Usatility, at which we find here a in-depth outline on how to obtain figure fantasy on computer. We scroll lower a bit and simply click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on that link, we get to the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is simply the Android emulator that we are going to use to enjoy the game figure fantasy on PC. As you can discover here we access a great deal of advantages of preferring using the emulator. Now we are on the way to proceed to download the figure fantasy by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green. We then click on this button. And the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download. It is an executable file. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer, so we have to click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the computer. We have clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to see the installer considerably better. The installer is very easy to use. It consists of two possibilities, install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does indeed. We simply click it. And we discover that we have here the path in which the emulator can be set up. If we desire to modify this directory we have to click on this browse option, so we select another folder and install the emulator exactly where we like. To keep it simple, just set it as it is. I simply click on back, and I pick install. Now, there it is. The install starts and it will progress in the download of these megabytes that are represented on that computer screen. At the time you save it on your hard drive, it might possibly be a little bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, based on your connection and according to the speed of the emulator servers. At the moment they are running rather fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been launched instantly. As you can see, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar that will move forward to the right and once it gets to the finish, the emulator will be started for the very first time. In fact the emulator is already launched, here it is for the very first time. Before we continue, as you understand, it has created two app icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is the one we are concerned about. Anytime we are planning to start Figure Fantasy on our PC, we twice click this specific software icon and as a result start the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's make the next step, that is a must have, and this is to entry the Google Play Store. And we will mouse click on Play Store. As you can see the Google Play is presented. Here we need to log on. Now the moment we are there, we must absolutely conduct the following step which is compulsory. Therefore we mouse click on sign in. Now it announces checking info. It can from time to time get stopped at checking info, that's why it does not progress. If so, you should try to log in in after a number of hours and it will surely almost certainly be resolved. Now we shall enter our email and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email address and its matching password. For instance you make use of the very same email you're using right now in your YouTube account. Then I will type in my info and I will return after I have done it. That's it, information entered. This is Google welcoming us and presenting us their terms of service. We can accept all of them simply by clicking I agree. Next, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could keep it selected and it will build a backup of your files on that device to Google Drive. I am not going to select it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. Google Play is started by default and instantly. 
To set up the application, we have to visit the emulator desktop by simply clicking that app icon designated in green. Now that we are exploring the desktop of the emulator, we can see that we find here the install application button. We simply click on that button. Here we access to the game. Why don't we mouse click now on the install button that I am highlighting now in green color. And it will initiate the installation. At this point it is going to install the video game, it may take a little while or it may possibly be amazingly quickly. It all is subject to on our web connection. This has as of now ended setting up. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this button I'm emphasizing in green, to be able to run figure fantasy for the first time. We are at present on the emulator desktop, then we're on the way to simply click this brand new figure fantasy icon which has been generated. The Android game is launched for the first time. Here we end up with it, I'm able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the volume of the emulator. This is right here, we have the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This way we are not going to rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the fullest, we could activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is simply the first one, we just click on that app icon that I'm pointing out in green color. And the display screen is maximized, having one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. If we aspire to enjoy the video game using all the screen, we mouse click on this game icon and we might already be enjoying the gameplay in 100% screen mode. To get out of the full screen setting, click the F11 key. And we might already be in standard display screen mode. Now I am ready to show you the computer keyboard mapping and that is certainly extremely enjoyable. This strategy we may be ready to operate the game far more easily. The first task is to mouse click this application icon. And there you will have the ability to make the required setups. I most certainly will leave the standard configuration, however if you choose to improve that, you can also do this without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is absolutely in our language. In some cases it occurs that your emulator is launched in the incorrect language, for example, in Japanese. And to set it up in the right language we click here to the cogwheel. And right here within additional configuration settings, we click that language drop down. We can also pick the language we want, Italian, Japanese, and so forth. After the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, as well as the game app, next time we start it, would as well be in the picked language. Now, you will find another detail that we will need to take into consideration, and this is that we will receive a message from Google Mail saying that a brand new machine has been connected with our own Google account. It should check with us if we are the ones who have associated with that electronic device. That's right, we ought not get worried, as the emulator is acting as an Android device. And to identify which device is being emulated, we come back right here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. And we browse here to the model option. And right here we realize that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for the training. I hope that you appreciated it, especially that you found it handy. In that case, bring it a superb like, subscribe to my channel, and if you have comments, requests or ideas, put them in the comment field below. You could also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I do live streams from time to time, you get it down below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of the training videos that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following instructional videos. Bye.